What's going on family? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, my name is Patty Lips, WMBF Physique Natural Pro. And today I'm gonna to be going over my top three foods to help me stay lean post-workout. So I'm gonna smash this upper body workout. But before we get started, please subscribe, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's vlog. I didn't know if I was gonna tell you guys, but I'm actually gonna be cutting a little bit through the holidays. And uh, you know, it's good to do mini cuts throughout your bulking season. And I'm actually gonna try and increase my bench press at the same time. So also on a side note, if I'm kind of talking weird, it's cause I don't know if I can, if you guys can hear me through this. In British Columbia, there was like a new rule that was put out. Anytime you're in a public place indoors, you have to wear a mask. And of course, I wanna respect the rules. I want to make sure everyone's comfortable, especially since I'm filming inside of the gym. And uh, hopefully this stuff can get over soon because, you know, I'm getting tired of this. So I'm back to bench pressing. Like I said, I want to try and increase my bench press as I'm cutting. A couple things here is when you're trying to program bench press and you're trying to increase it, you want to make sure the variables are consistent. So make sure your setup is consistent, your range of motion, everything is consistent. So when you are progressing, it's true progression versus you know, you go halfway down or you bounce it off your chest, that type of thing. So I'm gonna get into here, hit my first working set at 3.15 and uh, get the workout going. So we're moving on to incline dumbbell press. And what I like to recommend is starting off at a 45 degree incline because it had the highest EMG activation um, for your upper chest area. Although for me personally, I find that there's a lot of tension on my shoulders. So what I do is I have it at 45, but I emphasize the arch a little bit more. Now, if you don't arch as much as me, you can put it down and uh, play around with it to see what feels best for you. But 45 degrees is definitely a great starting point. So my upper workout, I'm hitting three chest exercises because that's what I'm trying to prioritize with growth. We're hitting the Bayesian cable fly here. And the difference between this one and the regular one is that your palms are gonna be facing down. Now also looking at the research again, there was a higher EMG activation in the chest when performing the palms down. Play around with this one though. I found there was a lot of mixed reviews when prescribing this. But one thing is, is also you might have to change is the height. I'm going for more overall growth. I'm doing a slight across or slight decline. If you guys want to work your upper chest and pull it up. If you want to more emphasize lower chest, you can fly downwards. So I'm moving on to the next exercise. Generally, I would be doing lat pull down. But I talked to the WMBF president of Canada and he told me I need to work on my arms. Now, a good way to work on my arms while doing back is actually the close grip. And that's because I'm gonna be performing more range of motion at the elbow versus pulling down at the shoulder joint. Um, so I'm gonna emphasize that a little bit more, get more tension on the biceps along with back and uh, move on to the next exercise. So I'm moving on to the last giant set and that's just pretty much three exercises supersetted together. And because of the new restrictions, a lot of people are limited to what they can do in the gym because of time. So this is a great way to save time when you're in the gym because I do recommend actually taking the full rest time for your main movements like your bench press, your squat, your deadlift. If you start shortening the rest on those, it'll be harder to progress with. But for these here, these accessory movements, the longer rest time, isn't as important. So I'm gonna hit this giant set, we'll finish up the workout, and then I'll show you guys the top three foods for a post-workout meal 
for the gains and shreds and everything else. So we're just here at uh, Walmart. I'm about to pick out some of the food so you guys can check them out. Just have a fresh slate and then go over it all with you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna make it quick in there because uh, you know the standards stepped up. We need to wear the mask, like I said. Um, so I wanna be respectful, get in, get out, and then I'll go over everything back at the place. So let's get some food and I'll see you back at the home. I just got back to the place and uh, I want to go over some of my top post-workout and the obvious one first of all is of course taking a protein shake right after um, if you take something like an isolate it's gonna be very fast absorbing and uh, get inside your system very quickly um, I do recommend at least getting in 40 grams per protein bolus so you know if you're gonna get in two scoops of this or 40 grams of another source. And then second of all, um, if you're taking creatine, I do recommend taking that um, after your workout as well because it's gonna have a little bit better effect post-workout than if you took it earlier in the day. Moving on to the next thing that you're gonna wanna take post-workout is actually banana. So you're gonna refill your glycogen right after your workout. And if you take a fast digesting carb, a little bit faster, like bananas where it has fructose in it, um, it is gonna refill your glycogen stores. That said, this is a very minimal effect, but it can be helpful in the long term. Just like having protein post-workout, it may not or may help, but it's always better to be safe and possibly get a benefit than not do it at all. Um, and then if you wanna have a little bit more fun, post-workout you know we have to be realistic with your diet if it's something you can't stick to you might as well not do it at all so I got these pop turk fins because they're a little bit better on the macros for two of the strips here it's only three fat 21 carbs and one protein and then of course I would stack that um, with some type of protein so some of my top quick protein snacks are Greek yogurt Super fast, super easy. If it's zero fat, the macros are unreal. So 17 grams per serving, only six carbs and zero fat. Um, Hannah is lactose free, so I ended up getting a lactose free option in case you are as well. They do have those options. And then, um, say you wanna cook up something quick. Um, I'm kinda lazy myself. I would make a omelet. So. Here are the regular eggs. You can either get egg whites, but I just separate the egg whites here. And I have this carton of eggs that's fat free, but it comes out yellow. So you get the flavor of the yolk, um, but it's seven grams of protein and zero fat. So this one's really good, also one carb, but this one's really good because of the flavor and the macros are dope. So the zero fat carton of eggs. To kind of conclude this whole thing here is, you know, I don't want you to stress about your post-workout, you know, if you have to wait an hour, hour and a half, it's okay. At the end of the day, your overall macro and calorie intake is what's gonna matter most, and then of course the composition of those calories. So make sure you get in at least a minimum amount of protein per day. These are just quick and easy ways to get your protein in. And uh, if you do wanna break it down in more detail, I would say the morning, one to two hours before your workout, after your workout, and um, supper time. At least four times per day, and 30 to 40 grams per per meal so other than that I'm gonna cook up my meal now and then get into the next video that we're about to do so Rashawn and I are about to film another one here so what's, what's that one on again oh yeah so the next one's on meal planning I think it's already out so if you guys want a more in-depth description on the perfect fat loss meal plan you guys can check out the previous video but I'm gonna whip this up and I'll see you guys in a minute Just made my post workout meal. It's gonna be high protein berry oats, a couple eggs, and some carton eggs with some creatine. So this is it for today, guys. Hope you guys had some good insight. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Please let me know if you guys liked it in the comment section below. I'm always open to all. So if you're not part of the team, 
Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.